C-Band's about to be deployed. Now let's talk about what this means for fast rural internet. Now what is C-Band? Like a band, like, like the Beatles? C-Band is a group of frequencies that falls into that sweet spot in between millimeter wave 5G and low band 5G. It gives you the best of both worlds, giving you faster speeds than low band and more range and penetration than the millimeter wave. Now in April of last year, the FCC held an auction to sell off the C-Band spectrum that was previously owned by satellite communication companies. And of course, all three carriers showed up to get their slice of the pie. Verizon got the biggest chunk, spending over $40 billion to get their portion of C-Band Spectrum. All right, I'll take care of the check. You guys can get the tip. AT&T spent over $20 billion, and T-Mobile spent just about $10 billion to get their portion of C-Band Spectrum. All three carriers plan to use this to improve their 5G network and coverage and expand on what they already built. Now, so far, T-Mobile's in the clear lead because they spent time building out their low-band 5G and they reach more people than the other two carriers. But what does this mean for fast rural internet? Well, two of the carriers, Verizon and T-Mobile, have made it clear that they plan to get into the home internet game. T-Mobile already has a jump on that. Verizon has started in some select areas. This C-band spectrum could be a game changer, allowing Verizon to reach more areas than they could with their ultra wideband because it's only available in a few select areas and has very limited range. T-Mobile only spent about $10 billion on this C-band spectrum. You hear that? Only $10 billion. Billions? Well, they spent the least amount because they acquired a lot of mid-band spectrum when they did the Sprint merger. So instead, they're concentrating on building up that mid-band spectrum that they got from Sprint and then adding this C-band spectrum later. But on January 19th, AT&T and Verizon are deploying this C-band spectrum. AT&T has been kind of quiet on their plans and what they plan to do with the spectrum, if they plan to get into the home internet business more aggressively or not. But Verizon and T-Mobile have made it clear they plan to do it. So this means more options for us in rural areas, traveling RVs, people that need internet and traditionally have not had the options that people that live in big cities have. Once C-band rolls out, that means there's gonna be more competition in areas that traditionally didn't have any good internet options. Now, increasingly, Starlink is becoming an option for those areas, a lot of those areas that it's available in. But Starlink is still more expensive than these cellular options. And if 5G really rolls out the way that it should, then that's gonna be an increasingly viable option for those of us in rural areas and RVers, people on the move, Starlink is still working that out as far as being able to be a mobile internet option. But it's gonna be interesting to see as there's more and more competition and prices drop. T-Mobile's already only $50 a month if Starlink can stay competitive charging $100 a month for their internet service, at least in the continental United States. The advantage that Starlink has is that it's a global internet option. So there's gonna be a lot of areas globally that can't get internet where Starlink is gonna be a very viable option. So the bottom line is competition is good. It's better for us. It lowers prices and gives us more options. We're finally starting to have more options. So I'm excited about the C-band rollout. Let's see what these companies do with it. Hopefully they do the right thing and start providing viable internet options in areas where they provided DSL or other weak options and tried to charge astronomical amounts for it. So let's see how this goes. I'm hopeful and waiting to see what happens on January 19th. I hope T-Mobile continues to expand their 5G coverage and improve on their network and the markets where they have T-Mobile home internet already available because the service is still hit or miss for a lot of areas. Some areas are really good, some bad. My area is decent, but it can still be improved. So let's hope that T-Mobile continues to build out their 5G network. And when Verizon unleashes this C-band, we'll see what they have to offer. I'm here for it. Um, if anybody else is, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Please hit the like and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And thanks for watching and checking out another video. Have a good one. I'm here to help. You believe that, don't you? That I'm here to help you in any way I can? Thank you. You've been helpful.